Welcome back to the demo. You are 15 minute mental break through all the chaos with beverages. Mm. I am Demosthenes. She is Valerie the Space Cowboy. And we come to you every week bringing you the very best, maybe, in fine alcoholic <laughs> beverages. <laughs> Uh, the very best and fine commentary. Oh, absolutely. There you go. You don't come for the booze, you come for the banter. That's right. You should put that on a shirt. <laughs> uh, after a very successful trip to Total One and More a uh, week and a half ago, yeah. we've got the next probably ten episodes all lined up. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> um, and that brings us right to today's offering. It's Golden Road Brewing Company's Champango. Mm-hmm. This uh, is my pick. <laughs> it is made with mango cart beer and inspired by mimosas. Uh, Golden Road's mango cart is one of the more popular uh, beverages out there. Golden Road, that, okay. yeah, Golden Road is a craft brewery here in Los Angeles. Mm. Started in 2011 and by 2015 was the largest producer of craft beer in Los Angeles. Oh. Until it was bought out by Papa Anheuser. Papa Anheuser? Yeah. Uh, it sounded like you said something else, and I don't know what it was. No, Big Daddy Anheuser Busch purchased it in 2015, <laughs> so now it's an AB InBev beverage. It's not really a craft beverage. Not anymore. A, a lot of big breweries have done that. They've gone to all these little craft breweries, like, hey, yeah. we like what you're doing. Come over here. Let's chat. Because people aren't we buying their. Much, we have much discussion. People aren't buying the Budweiser, so they're buying the Golden Road. Mm -hmm. um, I have been to a. Their main brewery is in LA, but I've been to their satellite uh, micropub. Across from the Big A in Anaheim. Mm. Uh, it was, it's a beer garden. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, now, Val, why did you decide to, to opt for this one? Because this was, indeed, Val's pick, the Champango. Um, because I like mango and I like mimosas. All good things. I've, I've had good experiences with both. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. Nothing to read here, so I'm not going to give you anything. Although it does say, do not shake. Yes. It is a can from a brewer. Never shake them. <laughs> That's how you die. <laughs> or you end up with champango all over your shirt. So, and your friend's shirt. I don't know if that kind of party. It is a malt beverage, it says on the side. I did read that. Alright, so here we go. Let's mm. pour right on in. Well, that's light. It smells refreshing. I can smell it from here. It's almost like a lemonade. Something, yeah. Can or a glass? Yeah, I can. As, right. as usual. It's a malt beverage made with mango juice and natural flavors. 6.5% alcohol. It's a little heavier than a normal beer, mm. which is usually around four and a half. Indeed. Six and a half. <sighs> Slanja? It's cool. <laughs> hmm. It smells like a night of drinking at the end of the night of drinking. Really? Yeah. It, it smells fruity. There's no doubt that there is fruit in this beverage. Like, you've already had like five or seven, ten drinks, you but, know, like... But I can't put my finger on it. You're... Yeah, it does smell strange. Like, you know when they're cleaning up the bar? Hmm. It's, is it me or is it a little bitter at the end? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I, I see what they're going for. It, yeah. It definitely has... <laughs> it definitely has like a champagne-y vibe to it. So if you wanted a mango cart with a little bit of champagne, this is, I guess, the closest you can get. <laughs> it feels weird on the tongue, effervescent like a champagne would, without actually being bubbly. It kind of drinks like a shandy. Oh, so, yeah. So, like, if you make a shandy yourself, <laughs> not like one you buy, like, in a bottle. Shandy, for those who forget, is beer and lemonade. Uh, Lighting Kugels makes one that they sell themselves, mm. but you can just make it with some old-fashioned country time there. So I've made it with country time, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's all about getting the vibration. ratio. <laughs> so it feels very smooth. Like, it kind of feels like it, there's some sort of juice involved in it. Mm -hmm. And so it's bubbly, but not too bubbly, like a mimosa would be. Yeah. You know, if you were to mix some champagne and orange juice, for those of you that didn't know what a mimosa was. Huh. I don't know how I feel about this. Like I made a mimosa with a beer. All right. With shit with like mango nectar, like some of those like Hansons or something. Kerns. Kerns, whatever. Proper review time. Golden Road Champango. Are we a proper review time already? Twenty-five yeah. minutes. That's all right. We're just <laughs> tricking right along. Um, 
it is, I don't want to say murky, but it's not clear. Mm-hmm. Um, it does feel like there's... It looks like a Hefeweizen. It does feel like there's champagne in here. There isn't. Be assured there is zero champagne in here. No. But you kind of feel like there might be, and it kind of gives you that huh. sensation. Uh, flavor-wise, it is fruity, but... It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's not sour. There's that fruity flavor up front, but then it disappears, and for me, it it ends bitterly. Like someone put bitters, someone was making a champagne cocktail. Hmm. Champagne and bitters, which is the hooker's drink, I heard. <laughs> the things you learn in bartending school. Is there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Is that the only thing you remember from <laughs> Do you remember? As, this is a weird reference. It was the Brendan and Fraser movie. The movie with Brendan Fraser is Mom Boys Like Champagne Cocktails. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a weird flex for you right there. There it is. Yep. So, yeah. It's not bad. It actually tastes like it was made with a slightly too hoppy, too hoppy a beer. And that's where the bitter is coming in at the end. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing. Like, I want to add more juice to my shandy. That's exactly what this tastes like. I'm not a mango man, but Val loves a mango. Would you say that this is mango-flavored? Oh, no. I'd say it was tropical (laughs) (laughs) fruit-flavored. I'm not really picking up mango, per se. It was like a melange of tropical fruits, like, all mixed together, and then you threw some hoppy beer in it. That's exactly what this tastes like. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's not the worst thing I've had, but for, for me, I'm just hung up on the the bitter aftertaste, which I, I guarantee was done by design. Yeah. It's not like that's some bizarre brewing by, byproduct. That was the goal, was right. to, to, to go for that bitter aftertaste. And some people love it. And, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to run It's interesting it. because like, I'll take a sip and I'm like, Hey, that's pretty good. And then I'll take another sip and I'm like... Not so much. Yeah. And then I'll take another sip and I'm like, hey, it's getting better. And then I'll take another sip. Not so much. Every sip is an adventure. A little bit. With a Golden Road Champango. Yeah. <laughs> like, I keep drinking it. Obviously, I'm going to pick this up before I pick up a hard seltzer. But. <laughs> That's a throwback. Callback. Mm. Go back to the past for that one. <laughs> Blast from the past. Movie star Brendan Fraser. <laughs> The jokes from around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said that into my cup, so you probably didn't hear that. Yeah, probably not. Um, so let's do some ratings. Huh. How do you I don't even f- know how I feel about it. How do you feel about the Golden Road Champango? I wonder what sip it is. <laughs> You're going to keep sipping until you get a good response. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Did you swish? Don't, don't just like, hold it in your mouth. No. No, <laughs> this is a wah. Now, obviously, if this is definitely a, 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 yeah, okay, this is a brunch drink, absolutely like a standard mimosa. This is definitely a summer beverage. Like if you had a, it's pretty good with some grilled chicken sandwiches or something. If you had like a cooler full of these in a backyard barbecue, totally fine. No one's gonna gripe, I think. Yeah, may not go right away, <laughs> or you might find that one person that's like, hey, this is really good. Glug right, glug glug. Right. Um. Three. Three? See, what throws me off is, it's a skinny can, compared to like a regular 12-ounce Coke or beer can. So, we were kind of learning that skinny cans aren't where it's at here on this show. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> we like short, fat cans and screw-top wine bottles. <laughs> yes! So, three out of five for you, huh? Yeah. I'm... Because I can't give a half. Well, no, if I give... If I gave that swill from last time, too, I'll give this one a three. I like this infinitely more. Sorry, not swill. Um, what, what the hell is that shit called? The mescal? The mescal. Hmm. <laughs> so. um, yeah, this isn't... Yeah, I think three out of five for me as well. It's not a bad beverage. No. It's not catastrophically bad, but it's not something that I would reach for. Hmm. It's not something like after a long day of work, you know what I want? Yeah. Get me a champango. <laughs> it's fun to one say. Of them there, champangos, kid. Bark it open for me. Barky. <laughs> so as I saddle up to the bar, give me one of them champangos. 
Oh, yes, sir. A man of discriminating tastes. No. <laughs> All presented to you. Here you go, sir. <laughs> Would you like to sip the can top? <laughs> White glove service. I, I think what the trend that we are we talk about on the show all the time how it's all about pers per perspective and preferences. Oh, so once it goes kind of flat and a little bit warm, that was good. <laughs> but I think what we're it's the one drink you can let sit around and it's better later. Oh, hey, there okay. you go. It's plus. I, <laughs> I, I I feel like with the show, as of late, we are drinking beverages that are like ninety percent there. We've had a doctor a few drinks where yeah. where it's like if we just added this one thing, yeah. infinitely better. Um, like the a couple weeks ago we did the PBR hot coffee. You know what it needed? More, more coffee. coffee. Yeah, this needs more mango. Yeah, it needs more fruit juice. It really does. Because um, I don't feel like it's it's it, what it's not warm going down. It doesn't no. feel like an alcoholic beverage. But I just I'm wish, starting to feel like it was an alcoholic beverage. Yes. But I just wish that the 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 fruity flavor was more present. Uh huh. Or, or abundant because hmm. it's just like it's there but well see that's always my complaint with a shandy though like when you get the bottled shandy not fruity enough so actually i've actually i, I actually i have actually taken <laughs> she's only had half 6. of 6.5 okay <laughs> so i have taken a bottled shandy and added more lemonade because i wanted it more lemonadey and it went down real smooth yeah <laughs> So I think you're, we're, we're bringing you the very best of drinks that are not quite there, but just need one that I, one extra yeah. bit. It's the, uh, hey, if you've got it in the fridge, here's how you can make it a little bit better. Right. <laughs> That's like, what we do. <laughs> even if you added, like, a normal mimosa, just a splash of orange juice, I think that would brighten it up significantly. Yeah, something, yeah. Uh, without diminishing the, the flavor of the, mm -hmm. of the drink. Mm -hmm. um, the more I drank it, the less the bitter aftertaste got. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if it was just something I got used to or just... It mellowed out. Maybe. Um, yeah, do you feel a little bit? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's. It's a beverage. A couple weeks ago, we did this this bike seltzer, and it was a beverage that made me sad. It really just deflated the whole episode. <laughs> let's be honest. I this, was doing the best I could. <laughs> this is a drink where I drink it, and I just feel horribly indifferent. <laughs> I don't oh, hate it. Not pathetic. That's why I give it a three. And I it's don't like right love it. Yeah. yeah. But now I feel like I, I all the previous threes that I've given, I need to bump up a little bit because yeah. this is... See, that's why we need to give halves. Uh, this is... This is the peak of mediocrity. It's fair to Midland. If you <laughs> if you want... I want the dead center of alcoholic drinks. I think the Golden Road Champagne goes where sure, it's at. Sure to not please or displease anyone in your party. Right. It's there you go. It's fruity booze, <laughs> without actually being fruity booze. <laughs> yeah. I'm perplexed by this booze. <laughs> I don't know that I'm perplexed. It's just it is. It is what it is, and that's not good enough. <laughs> no, but it's not. It could be worse. Could be better. <laughs> it's the baloney of booze. Not even the beef bologna blues. <laughs> just, just regular blue. Straight up bologna. With other animals in it. <laughs> Lips and assholes. But like, <laughs> but like a good bologna, you know how you make it better? You fry it up a little bit, put it on some bread, make it part of a sandwich. you got to doctor it up. You just don't eat bologna straight out of the right. carton. There you go. It's <laughs> the bologna blues. That is not a selling point. <laughs> You know, when I post this, I don't know if I can actually tag Golden Road on this now, because I don't think they'll appreciate us calling their beverage <laughs> the baloney of booze. <laughs> but, you know, honest take. That's all I'm saying. Honest take there. People love bologna. I, it's, it's part of a great sandwich. I really do. I enjoy a bologna. Right? A beef bologna. This is regular bologna. Everyone... <laughs> wouldn't be the regular bloaty. Maybe it'd be beef bloaty. Were there other champagne inspired? I, I don't know. Because I know, so this is using the mango cart as a base. And mango cart by Golden Road is, is very popular. 
we actually have a can of pineapple cart in the fridge that we're going to be reviewing. <laughs> we should crack it up right now, just out of curiosity. In a couple of weeks. <laughs> I feel like we got to space it out now. I don't because if it's really bad, I don't want to dog pile. <laughs> so people love the mango cart. They can get enough of the mango cart. Like I'm drinking this, and I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Baloney. <laughs> no, maybe we shouldn't tag them. No. Have you been tagging? Only on if oh, they've gotten fours ones? or fives. Then oh, yes, okay. I have been tagging <laughs> okay. the brewers and wine and winemakers uh, on their okay. on the posts. Okay. Uh, last week, needless to say, Casamigos did not get tagged that's in that post. <laughs> I guess that's a nice place to just kind of wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Truth Fimo. <laughs> this is what we normally Honest do. Honest take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One take, straight, no editing. Nope. From our mouths to your ears. There it is. Baloney. If you want to watch all the previous episodes, <laughs> go to YouTube, search for Drinks with Demo, mm -hmm. um, because they, we got, we got some good stuff up there, and we're gonna have more. Like I said, we got at least another ten episodes lined up. Yeah, at least of, of spirits, <laughs> so we're not beers, going <laughs> and wines. We got a full variety, and we're doing it for you. That's right. Yeah, we're not. We're taking no joy in this. This is just a <laughs> chore for us. Oh, I gotta do the show again. <laughs> she actually did say that about twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, "Can we do it tomorrow?" <laughs> I was already in my pajamas. I didn't have any makeup on. And I said, "Well, no, I'm just gonna keep that." <laughs> So if you like what you saw here on the YouTube, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We'll, we will take requests. Probably we won't get to them right away. Just gonna throw that out there. Mm. If you're watching this on the Instagram, by all means, like us, share us in your stories, spread the word that is Demo Drinks with Demo. Demo Drinks with Demo. No, that's not right. Demo Drinks with Demo. Drinks with Demo. <laughs> you got this. Don't let it best you. 6.5%. <laughs> But I can't get drunk, so it's... Have you tried in a while? Maybe you're old now, so it's fine. Maybe one episode in the future. <laughs> we will dedicate to the one drinking episode mm. where I tried to get drunk. And I took enough alcohol that would have killed a man. Not even buzzed. Yeah, it's just depressing. It really is. Yeah. As opposed to me, one can in. Woo! Half a can. Half a can. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> okay. Right. Any parting shots? No. <laughs> all right. Everyone, thanks for joining us on Drinks Demo. Golden Road Champango got three out of five from both of us. It's the baloney of booze. Yeah. And until next time, I'm Demosthenes. She's all the six cowboy. Choose love. Stay safe. Drink responsibly. Please.